Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to show you how to set up projects inside of TickTick. So let's get started. As you see here, I have opened up here on my desktop, TickTick, and today we're going to focus on setting up projects. Now, if you notice in my list here, in my personal, I have a projects list under the actual folder, right? So you got a personal folder, you got a, a day job folder maybe, or maybe some side hustle folders. And then under each one of these, you have projects, one-time task, and then of course, reoccurring tasks. Well, in their projects, this is where you'll put every project that you ever have in this list, okay? So let's say, for instance, you have a bathroom remodel project coming up, okay? You'll make one main task for the project, and I usually put it in brackets like this so I know it, it's a project when I look at it on my um, today view or on my calendar view. It stands out when it's all caps like that with brackets. And under that, I'll usually put a description of what this is about, and then I'll have subtasks. So the main task, bathroom remodel, will have a time frame, as you see here, August 16th and completion date, October 15th. Then I'll put a description, and then I'll have subtasks that will also have dates assigned to them as well. And if you notice here under this planning and design, which is the first task, it has other tasks under it, but they're really checklists under the subtask. So the main task with subtask under it and the subtasks have checklists in them. You can also in the planning and design put a description in there if you so desire uh, describing that. But in this case, I did not do so. Now, if you notice under planning and design right here, there is a nice little uh, thing that tells you that this is a subtask to the main task. And you just click on that and it takes you back to the main task with all the subtasks under it. So you can add more subtasks if you need. If you need to go into this, don't click here because that will mark it off as completed. What you have to do is go to the end here and the little arrow, click on it, and it takes you into the planning. Conversely, if you just open this up, you can also click on each one of these and open them up on the side view here as well. Okay. Now, when you set these things up, you can set them up for a duration for all day. And that's typically what I do, unless I know a time frame that I want to do it in. Okay. But more than likely, it's going to be an all day adventure, especially with remodeling of a bathroom, right? So if I look here at my calendar, and I go over here to say the three day view, which I love. We'll see here that I have a bathroom remodel project and then I have the subtask project underneath it. This is very helpful, especially in big projects like this, where I know it's gonna take up most of my day and I see it's coming up now, then I can go ahead and delete some of these tasks in here that are taking up most of my day and just plan on doing that all day long. And when that happens, when the planning and design, I say, hey, what do I got to do here? Well, I got to create a Notion page for the bathroom remodel project because I like to keep a lot of my documentation and everything all in one place in Notion. Then I'll set an initial budget for it. So I'll have that set up inside of Notion as well. I'll finalize the design layout. Maybe I've got some sort of software that I'm playing with to see how I want to remodel my bathroom, right? Select materials. And then, of course, obtain necessary permits if I'm doing it by myself or maybe I'm hiring a contractor to do it. OK, so these are some of the ways that you can actually set up a project. And if you look here, this planning uh, and design project is over on August 24th. So my next item after that is the demolition, taking out all everything right out of it. And I had that set for two days, September 1st to September 3rd. And all this is located in the project folders. And I also put them as a priority because if you're doing a major project like this, that's your major priority 
It's not secondary. It's not third. It's it's not even a no priority. It's your main priority. So you want to know that kind of information, right? You can also add tags. In this situation, I had no reason to add tags, but if you want, you could add tags to your projects to help you know what you need to do, whether or not this thing is going to be at a, at a computer that you're doing or whether it's going to be in the bathroom, whatever it is that you want the tags to relate in this situation. But here, I didn't really need to do that. So I hope this was kind of helpful to see how you can actually set up projects inside of Tick Tick. Okay. So if you all have any questions or concerns, uh, please leave me a comment right down below. And if you like these kind of videos and want to see more of these in the near future, make sure you like my video as well as subscribe to this channel. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week and I'll catch you next episode. Take care.